Hey guys, how are you? Hope you are all doing good. Welcome to my channel guys. Today I have this transformer and I have one of these printed circuit board. As you know guys, I have here transformer that is step down transformer and I have here PCB for the power supply but of course guys all I'm talking about this power supply of course those who are more advanced all right guys so I'm gonna show you today power supply that is we call DC adapter I have here transformer 12 volt transformer of course comes in 220 AC we have 12 volt AC it's not DC yet and uh, in order to obtain 12 volt DC we need to convert into direct current from AC to DC as you know guys there are four diodes rectified diodes and five capacitor those capacitors are of course fixed capacitor and uh, those are ceramic of course and uh, here is one of these capacitor that is a capacitor polarized capacitor that is plus and minus as you can see and this is for filtration when we convert into the DC it's not enough there is not pure DC and in, in order to get pure DC without ripples or without pulsating we need filter capacitor as you know that why what is the filter filter just to to filter the dc current and here i'm going to show you 12 volt dc as you know why we need dc power supply we have if we have there are a lot of those electronics equipment that we are using for example consumer electronics some of them we input the from external power supply that we can connect through this power supply of course guys as you can see this power supply there is there are no active component there are nothing much to see in this circuit board and of course this is not the regulated power supply this is the basic power supply but guys i recommended you not to use this power supply those that we are using today digital electronics not to use because this power supply is not a stable power supply even we do step down 12 volt after we connect here and is out, there is output they're not exactly 12 volt there might be even 20 25 volts all right guys that's why i suggest you not to operate with this power supply to your electronics appliance all right guys so i'm gonna show you i have a piece of paper i'm gonna show you what is this uh, the uh, printed circuit board what is all about what is done i'm going to show you that i have piece of paper i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, draw on the paper all right guys So bear with me guys, I am not 
expert to to drawing but i will do my best let's say we have here transformer as you know Two hundred twenty volt, of course, AC, twelve volt AC, secondary, of course. Let's try to draw the bridge rectification. So I will try my best, guys. Let's do something like this. For example. something like this let's do something like this guys bear with me of course there are four diodes as you can see cathode anode anode cathode that they have a terminal one side you can you can see the cathode anode cathode anode of course uh, we know and dc while we are connecting to the dc in order to obtain dc the dc voltage always because of the diode flows always in the one direction because it's not the ac let's connect this 12 volt ac to the bridge rectified diodes all right guys something like this and we have, of course, I, I showed you, uh, there are uh, five uh, capacitor. Those so uh, each capacitor, it has something like this. Each capacitor in parallel with its diodes. All right, guys. One, two, three, four. Another capacitor. Four. Uh, another capacitor. Five, four capacitor of course there is another one the fifth one goes in parallel with 12 volt AC and we have of course from here plus voltage we will get plus terminal and we can get from here Yes, the minus. This is minus. And we connect one of the filter capacitor in order to achieve a smooth DC voltage. But it's still, guys, this is not regulated power supply or this is not the switching power supply, as you know. This is simple power supply that you we can use for recharging our equipment and in order to make regulated power supply we need another component is called IC something like this This is, of course, input. This goes output. This is the best idea to use to apply the power supply to our digital electronics, guys. But again, as I told you, I showed you this printed circuit board. Those All those components are how it made and all those, uh, how it's placed. As you can see that I 
drawn you already in this paper but bear with me guys i'm not good in not good enough to to draw but hope you got it what i mean all right guys so i have made already one of this in this series one of the the video that uh, last time those who haven't watched please friends go i will i will uh, link that video in the description box below please watch that video before watching this guys i hope you if you like this video please give me thumbs up and uh, if you like please subscribe to my channel and uh, if you have something or if you have any questions or comment please leave me in the description below and uh, thank you very much for watching my video god bless you